After the announcement of the Department of National Defense, Secretary Delfin Lorenzana regarding the Corvette Acquisition Project and the Offshore Patrol Vessel Acquisition Project by the Philippine Navy being delayed due to budget reallocation. The Duterte administration left with Shuldag MK5 fast attack interdiction crafts as the only project awarded so far by the Philippine Navy after years of delay in procuring two Corvette ships, six offshore patrol vessel ships which will be procured using a soft loan offered by the Australian government. Also included are the submarine acquisition project, acquiring two diesel electric submarine, and the landing platform docks acquisition project, acquiring two ships, possible another Tarlac class landing platform dock or even better. Meanwhile, the Department of National Defense is requesting additional budget worth 81 billion Philippine pesos other than the yearly budget of the DND and other than the 33 billion Philippine pesos original proposal by the Defense Department for fiscal year 2022. If approved, the Department of National Defense will have until March or April of 2022 before the acquisition will be considered midnight deals, that can be questioned. Max Defense Philippines offered a proposal to fill the gap from 2022 to 2026, some of the proposal of the acquisition of at least five Cyclone-class interdiction crafts from the U.S. Navy. The acquisition of the newly retired U.S. CGC Mellon, the last Hamilton-class cutter of the U.S. Coast Guard. Acquiring additional Pohang-class corvettes, which is being offered by the South Korean government if the Philippine Navy chooses to award the corvette acquisition project to Hyundai Heavy Industry. And acquiring the Type 23 Duke-class frigates of the British Royal Navy, as the British government announced its sale once they are retired. The Type 23 Duke-class frigates are bigger and more capable than the Jose Rizal-class frigates, despite being an old ship. With this delay, the armed forces of the Philippines will be left out, as the neighboring countries are also modernizing its armed forces. End.